11.40 right now, maybe 11.41. And I'm going to be planting these plants. Keep in mind, it's mid-afternoon. And I am trying to post more often, but I was gone at a lake house, at my aunt's lake house. So I didn't really know what to post. So as you can tell, it rained because a lot of stuff has like water it, water in it. So here are the little um, uh, papayas. Um, they dropped, both of them dropped their bigger leaf, I guess, while I was gone, but they made some new leaves. And so that's just proof that my strategy works. So I'm going to scrub out all this water. Because this is just mosquito breeding, mosquito breeding ground. And uh, mosquitoes love me. I think it's because my blood type. Because mosquitoes have a preferred blood type. So, yeah, I repotted a lot of the aloes and everything. All of them, actually, that needed it. I'm just gonna go around and start dumping out all this water. And this is why I always keep my Venus fly traps, or at least like when I had them, before they before they uh, died. Um, I always kept them inside because then the water would get mosquito. So I just put them back. So here I have some green onions. Obvious, some green onions. Then these other plants, I honestly have no idea what they were. They've just been sitting in paper towel. There's three of them. Some of them are actually kind of reared in into the towel, which is cool. That's fine. Here is this really nice, pretty um, purple kind of plant that is kind of dying. So I kind of just took it. And then here is, one, uh, here is this big one. Um... I honestly don't know a lot of these, I don't know any of these plants, and I don't know their care requirements. I'm kind of just going to go it, go by the plants telling me. And it's been in the dark, and it's been in the car for about 24 hours, so I've got some leaves that are unhappy. And I probably will start selling these once these get established, because as you can see, they like uh, to make uh, more of themselves. And here's this one. Very nice, long leaf. Um... Don't fall back. Okay. And this is just where they in. They were just in damn paper towel. Really. Um, so, yeah. Oh, I also planted some butter lettuce. And I have to drain out the water every single day. Because then you start getting mosquitoes. And it also just goes with the out period. Um, the lettuce are really... High concentrated, so just so I can keep everything, like, so I just so I can keep the water in check. I kind of just keep it like that. So let me go for it. Let's go pot by some pots that they would do good for I have this one. I have this one. Colors too. I think these are the two I'm gonna use. Uh, the three I'm gonna use. Green onions. I'm just gonna put in my RA green onion thing. So this is what I'm gonna use. Uh, I'll probably just throw the paper towel in there because that will decay. Whatever. Doesn't really give anything back to the um, soil, but I think it's just nice to line. Sorry guys. The bottom of the pot with it because just kind of while so uh, because when fresh soil and pot a lot of soil falls out before how the soil gets settled in um in the pot along with the roots of the plant so this just helps it and then once the soil gets settled, you know this starts to decay get eaten by spring tails and their cleanup crew and so it kind of it just does it in its you know, rather than throwing it away and filling up a landfill. This is a better way of doing it. You know how to use these? You can use more long-term solutions. I'm personally not, because they'll probably go 
and different plants probably in our flower bed once uh, my mom finds them. Because a lot of my plants do go in there. Wow, why is this page all so big? Oh, it's not broken. Okay. Because um, I did put a lot of my plants in the flower bed. Like my pineapple will go in there. And a few of my, av my avocados will go in there. They just go in decorative pots. But it really, now I'm going to start filling up the soil. Like I said, I have no idea how to take care of these plants. I'm kind of just going to play it by ear. Um, it looks like I have two V's actually. So I don't have my tripod out here, but I'm just going to sh uh, set up my phone kind of. Okay, so I just did a time lapse of me filling up the pots up with soil. I didn't do it all the way because I still got the plants in. But I'm just gonna do a quick pruning. As you can see, this one doesn't have too many roots, and the lighting's see a bit, I know. But this one doesn't have a whole lot of roots. But it does have some uh, leaves that aren't doing super great. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut those so they don't cause the plant really any, um, any too much energy, because I want it to get settled. And I'm just gonna go ahead and clip off some of the parts, of the, the out, outer parts of the leaf that are starting to go bad. So it still has the leaf, and all it has to do is scab and still scar a little, just so everything goes the same. And this will all go in my compost. So let me, I'm not gonna cut this leaf. I'm just gonna cut. that and so now the leaf is this big less than the size of my palm but that's just a little trimming on this plant this one will go in one of the smaller ones okay let's do this one this one is uh producing quite a lot of babies as you can see oops this is the main one but then they don't even fit in right and there's this one and then there's another leaf coming off of it. And then there's actually this other one starting to come out. That little nub right there. I'm gonna go ahead and break that nub because I wanted to focus on its roots more. Um, and it does have quite a nice set of roots. Um, it did have a dead leaf that I just pulled off, but that's really all the maintenance that needs to be done on this one. Next, we have this purple plant. That are, there's actually two of them here. Um, but they both seem to be connected to the same root system, so I'm not, uh, I was planning on spraying them, but I don't think I can without harming them. So I'm just going to go around and start cutting off all these dead leaves, because they're just going to mold and rot, um, if they don't fall off. So, yeah. Uh, if these guys get established and they start doing good, then I'll probably put them in some nice pot, a nice pot and um, put it inside. So, um, it could be on display. And then it'll probably go out into the flower bed later on. Is a little way where I can separate them. Okay, maybe not. Okay, I didn't make a cut, but not big enough where the plant can't still be okay. So that's that, just real quick. Now, let's get these guys planted. Like I said, it's midday, so um, it's all kind of, um, the lighting is really bad right now. I usually film my plant videos in the evening because it's cooler for me and the lighting's also better. So I'm just going to kind of stand this up in the soil and then pile some more soil on top. I only 
fills up about two thirds, and then I'm putting and I'm putting more soil on top. If you don't have to do this. You can fill up a little bit more and just leave an inch or two at the top, but then you're really having to push the plant more into the soil. And if you have delicate roots or very few roots, you really don't want to do that because you have a possibility of breaking them. There we go. First one planted again, it doesn't fit in frame. I'll show you all some more clips of it once um, I finish potting it. I'm just gonna put it over here in front of the aloes. We'll probably go somewhere else later on. Now we have this one. I'm just gonna dig a little hole with my fingers. Stick it in there. I like to deeply plant them. So you can see it's not really standing up, but it also doesn't have a whole lot of soil in it yet, so that's to be expected. Ooh, it hit a lot of compost. You can tell um, when you hit worm compost fairly easily if you're familiar with gardening and all that. So, or worth working with worms. You don't really be a gardener. If you fish a lot and you buy worms, you know what their compost, their poop or compost looks like. So that's that one planted. I honestly can't see my phone screen right now, so I have no idea how the frame shot is. Alright, now let's do this purple one. For any of y'all wondering, yes, I am in school. Uh, we're just, I am doing online school. But um, right now they give everybody a lunch break. I've already eaten lunch because I get my work done fast. So I am looking at that right now. What is this? Ooh, lovely guinea pig poop. Good clump of it too. Sometimes if you own guinea pigs or rabbits or really anything, you keep it on fleas and you don't clean their, you miss one day of cleaning or you miss a spot in the cage and you come by to, the next day to kind of clean it um, and they pee and they smush it and it makes a whole big clump. That's kind of what that piece was. What is this? Oh, is that a baby? Okay. All right. So that's that one planted. Now I'm gonna show y'all kind of where I have them in the greenhouse. If y'all can scoot back. I can go there. Okay, so I scooted back these succulents and now that's there. Um, this is, that's the other one right there. And then this is a super tall one. I say about two feet. Um, so pretty, fairly tall. Um, and if I were to have like a crusty gecko, gargoyle, or even lichianus, like this leaf is huge. This plant would be great for it. Here we have some weeds. But that's all the plants. And I still have to do the green onions. That's all. Thank y'all for watching today's video. Please let me know down in the comments what other videos and content y'all like to see further on on this channel. Thank y'all again for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video.